All right, so in this video, I'm gonna make an Instagram command where you can, um, you know, get data about Instagram. So, so first we're gonna require Axios. So we do console Axios equals require. Um, we do Axios. I love using Axios. You don't have to use Axios. You can just use fetch. You can use um, node fetch. You can use anything you want, but I just prefer using Axios. And then you can do module. Well, I'm gonna do it because it's the way I set up. Module exports equals. And then we can do a name. And um, we could just do, for now, I'm just gonna do IG test. I don't know. I guess for now. Let me do run. What is it? What am I gonna do? I know the spell. And then first, before we do anything, we're gonna run. We're gonna run an if com if statement. So we're gonna say if it does not equal to. So if args is if it's not equal to args, we're gonna we're gonna return. Um, we're gonna just return um, message dot channel dot send. Please enter a user. So this is for. If, let's just say. What did I do wrong here? Oh, oops. That's what I did wrong. So let's say if a user just does the command, like if they just do exclamation point or whatever your prefix is, IG test, it's going to return this message. Please enter a username. So they have to enter a username. And then we're gonna we're gonna make a consonant. So we're gonna say contrary URL equals gonna be back ticks equals this this URL right here. I put in the description. I'm gonna leave the repo also. So we're gonna say that link. So, and then this is gonna be args. So whatever they type after the command, that's gonna be there. So then we're gonna we're gonna define some things. So we're gonna say let let response URL. And what else can we say? Um, let response. Hmm. Oh, what am I doing? Hmm. I'm trying to think of a word. I'll just say account. Account and then um let's just do details like details for now. Alright. So this is just the easier way to instead of like our writing let response, let account, let details, you can just write it all in one line. So then we're then we're gonna run the try catch. So then we're if we're gonna so if it doesn't exist, we're gonna do a message.channel.send. We're just gonna say couldn't find info for for I don't know to say that account just something like that and then we could do we could do response equals active equals await uh, await axios I get the URL so it's gonna just get in this and then then we could do account Counts equals response dot data, and then if we console log this, it's gonna return us something. I already I already did it previous, so I can just do details equals uh, account account dot graph ql because that's what it's gonna return. So I'm just gonna you know make it simple for you guys. So just do that. And details. It's just it's just, it's just short for instead of writing this all the time you could just do details so then details dot something all right so then that's that's basically it let's just get in the data and now we're going to use the data so we're going to do const embed equals new message embed so when i whenever i do enter for something it's going to put it on the top like it did right there it's going to just const so const message embed equals require so you, if it doesn't show up for you you just put it in there and so we can do dot set oops what am I doing dot set title then we're gonna run a ternary right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put details dot is underscore verified so if the user is verified we're gonna do this we're gonna do boom we're gonna put um, details dot the username what did I do wrong here oh no details dot username 
and then we're gonna then we're gonna put oops what am I doing what am I doing okay so we're gonna do this and then I'm gonna put this right here this is the email so if, if someone if there are if they are verified we're gonna put details that username and then we're gonna put this uh you know this emoji okay then we're gonna say if they're not verified we're just gonna do um can i the details dot user name then we're gonna do we're just gonna leave it blank just gonna leave it blank okay so just display the unit then we're also gonna we're gonna run another ternary so we're gonna say so details dot username. Oh wait, I did it wrong. Details that is underscore private. So if a user is private, right? If details if the user is private, we're gonna do we're gonna put just put a lock. So I got oops. So what is it? Wait. Do a lock, and then so. Oops. What did I do wrong here, boys? Hmm. I'm sitting here thinking what am I, what I did wrong. I don't think I did anything wrong. I don't know. Huh. We can we can just test it. So we're just gonna say sorry, I was trying to see why it's shown up as a green. But that's fine. It's because I didn't put a Okay, whatever. So right here we're saying that if Oh, that's why. I was wondering, I'm like, why is it doing this? Alright, anyway. So we're saying if you know, if, if, their, if their account is private, we're gonna display this lock. Okay, and then if it's not, if it's not private, we're just gonna display just open string. So it's just gonna display nothing. It's just gonna display the username. So, uh, and then, then we can just do, let's see what we can do. We can set the description. Details, oh, that's what I do, why did I put Details. Uh, do I think it's biography. I don't know. We can we can just test it out later. And then right here, I'm gonna add fields. So you can do it differently, but this is how I do it. So I'm gonna just set a name of total. I don't spell total post. And then I'm and then I'm gonna set the value to. Details dot edge underscore owner. I think it is to media dot count. I believe that's what it is. I have notes. I have notes with me. I believe that's. I believe that what it is. I should have console logged it from the start, but I want to make the video quicker. So then we're gonna do name followers so this is going to give us the followers and then we're going to do but the repo would be the repo is going to be in the description and i hope i wish you guys can like it i'm um, start a repo and then right here we're going to do details dot edge to oh oops This is what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna details dot edge underscore followed by account. So it's gonna give you the amount of users they're about follow they're followed by. Then we're gonna set that to inline true, so they can all be on the same line. I don't know. It just reminds me of uh, you know just an Instagram account. And we also can do the name following. So this will return how many users the 
the person you're looking up is following. So we can do, oops. Uh, Always gotta put a comma after this. That's why it's giving me that error. We're gonna do. We're gonna set the inline to true. So now, if we run this, it should work. I also gotta declare a message dot channel dot send. So this is gonna send the embed. So this, I believe, if I didn't do anything wrong, this should work. Um, just m. What is what is the command? Ig test. This will be a, this is another video I'm putting out that I got data from. Okay, so I'm gonna just do m ig test. Let's just leave it blank for now. So it cannot read property send of undefined. Return message. Channel dot send. I don't know why it's returning this. Let's just try. Okay, what's going on here? Give me one second. All right, I fixed the error. It was just a typo I had. I just had a typo. All right, I fixed the error. So okay. So now let's say if I do mig test, it should return. Okay, good. It's just doing that. Um, not sure why it's doing that. Cracked my internet. So it's doing mig test. So it works. So it says please enter, please enter a username. So if I do mig test, let's just do six nine. I just uh, look. It returns boom, boom. See? And okay, the U O. I didn't set. Got to set one thing. I'm just gonna do set. That set thumb. Oops, if I know how to spell. I don't know how to spell. Okay, and then it's gonna be details. Details dot profile underscore pic underscore URL. This should be this should be the answer. There we go. Boom. And then let's just do let's do an IG. I know this IG doesn't have a check mark, see no check mark. And it did not verify it, so it won't display that check mark. In order for you to use this check mark, you would have to, you know, um, what's that? You have to have this emo in your in your um, in your in your server. And an easy way to find out the ID of a server, I mean of a channel. So let's just say ID of an emote. So let's just say if I do check, so you see this? you will put a, a backslash you will put this in front of the emote so if I go like this it will give me see it will give me this and then you just display this right in right for here all right that's basically it um, that's the video I have a YouTube video coming out soon so you can do so you can do this I have this coming out and I also have another video coming out where you can you can do this instead Just do so. I have this instead. So, look, this is my channel. If I do on YouTube, terrible dev, it will return my YouTube channel, but my subscriber count, my view count, and stuff like that. So, that's basically the video. The repo would repo is going to be in the description. Make sure you give a like. You can comment if you want. If you need help, let me know. Have a good one.